Good morning, you two. Hope you're all well. Today is World Book Day. Now, not just only in England, but all around the world, all around the globe, we are celebrating a love for reading. Now, sometimes some people might find reading a bit boring because they're just reading words and that doesn't inspire them. But it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. Sometimes you can incorporate and include um, doing some creative writing or creative arts, okay? And that can help you with your imagination and take you to different places um, and develop that love for reading. And that's what we are aiming to do um, today. Here's one of my um, favourite quotes by Dr. Seuss, and it is, the more that you read, the more things you will know, and the more that you learn, the more places you'll go. So basically, he's just saying that the more you read, the more, more better you get, more knowledgeable that you get, you get that information in your head, and it, and it and you can and that can take your imagination to far and wide places um which is what we want especially when we're doing writing when we're doing reading because both things are linked together because if you like or have a love for reading then you know that will also come into your writing as well so you'll develop a love for writing too same time it's the skills are connected okay so reading and writing are connected they don't have to be separate things um so let's have a look at what we're going to be doing today so you have some activities in your pack but let me explain them in this video and then you can get on with those okay so you're going to look at an author study now this gentleman here is called joe or sometimes known as joseph cooley home now he is an author and he's also an illustrator so that means he not only just writes but he also creates the pictures or the images in books and he doesn't just write picture books he also writes poems now what i'd like you to do i'm going to stop talking because i want you to um pause this video here and go back to the blog and then I want you to click on the video, um, the YouTube video link for uh, Joe Curlyho's masterclass. And he's going to talk a bit about some of his work. And it's all going to link to the learning that you're going to do today. So pause the video here and go and watch the other video and then come back and see what you need to do. Okay. Right, hopefully you'll have had a chance to watch the video and find out a bit more about Joe Curlyho and what he does um, as a person. Um, and you'll have seen that he's talked a bit about poetry and how poems don't have to be difficult. They can be as easy as you like. You can use your imagination. They can be about anything that you want to write about, okay? So what we're going to do is now I have got this is Joe Curlier's book it's called how to write poems and you'll have, and you'll have seen that in the video clip that you've just watched um unfortunately it's a little bit tricky to, for me to make this bigger because the, the when I increase it or make it a bit bigger on the screen it just becomes really fuzzy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this um on the blog for you to have a look at okay so you can read it in your own time and it's about um about seasons about march and he's talking a bit about daffodils so i want you to have a little read in in your own time please if you if you get a chance okay so your task is so like Joe Curly Home, I want you to go for a walk. It could be just in a walk in the garden or in the park if you like. And I want you to see if you can find some leaves. It doesn't just have to be lots and lots and lots. It can just be one or two or however many you want to have, okay? And then what I want like you to so then what I want you to do is to create a pattern or a shape with the leaves. You can create whatever you like, whatever is in your imagination, okay? It doesn't have to be whatever I've got on my pictures here these are just examples to show you of what you could create okay so I want you that's your first job okay to go for a walk see if you can find some leaves and create a pattern now it'd be really lovely if you could take a photo of you of you creating your pattern because we can't see what learning you've done at home so it'd be nice to have some photos to put onto the blog especially for world book day which would be nice so you can take a photo and send it to us um and we and obviously we'd love to see that see your learning so i want you to do create a pattern or a shape with the leaves 
okay? Then your next job is going to be to write a poem about your leaf or leaves, okay? Now, I have done a little waggle, so what a good one looks like, so here's my example. Now, unfortunately, I'm recording this video at 6.30 in the evening on a Wednesday, um, so it's a little bit tricky for me to go outside into the park and find these as it's dark, so I won't find very much. Um, so, I have used this picture from my previous screen, so I'm just going to increase it a little bit, I don't know if you can see it very well. Um, so I've written a little poem, so all I've done is just look at the pictures and just use my imagination. Now this poem didn't take me very long to do. Um, I just looked at the pictures and whatever words came to my mind, I wrote them down, okay? Let me just put my full stop in there, Miss Bomb. And one here. Okay, so let's read it through then together. Okay, so pink, red and orange leaves fluttering and floating on the ground. See them dance in the cool breeze. Leaves laying flat like a starfish. Okay, I'm going to read it again. You can read along with me if you'd like to, okay? Pink, red and orange leaves fluttering and floating on the ground. See them dance in the cool breeze. Leaves laying flat like a flat starfish. Sorry. Okay. So I just only looked at the picture and whatever words came into my mind, I just put them together. And that's what a poem is. So you don't have to think and you don't have to make it as hard um, to, to make it trivial for you, okay, or make it tricky for you. You can just use the words, look at the pictures, look at the patterns, look at the colours, like Joe Coleho talked about in his video. And he and he shared a poem, didn't he? Just about in, in within one minute he was able to describe um what he could see on his leaf. So, and this doesn't take me very long, I will admit. Just only a minute or two to put together. So what I'd like you to do, so once you've created your pattern um, or a shape with your leaf, I'd like you to write a little poem. Now you should have um, this template of a leaf in your learning pack, hopefully. And you should also have a word mat to help you with some of the words. Um, you may want to come out with your own vocabulary and that's absolutely fine but you can use these as a starting point um, to help you to write so red orange and yellow group that's what you will be doing okay so you'll be writing your own poem green and blue group your job is a little bit different um you will have some sentence starters over here like i've written again you've got a template of a leaf and a word mat to help you and you can think of your own words too you don't have to just stick to this but there's just ideas to get you started now i want you to describe your leaf what does it look like the leaf is and then you tell me is it prickly is it green is it soft is it smooth is it flat you do decide okay and the other sentence you starter you could have is the leaf has what does it have does it have veins like little lines on them or does it have any patterns does it have different colors so you can maybe choose and again describe your leaf okay so use my sentence starters okay the leaf is the leaf has and you have a go at describing your leaf Okay, so that's task number one. So you've got to go out for a walk, find some leaves, create a pattern, and then have a go at writing a poem or a description of your leaf or leaves. Okay, task number two, okay, is to design your favourite book character from a potato. So if you have a potato at home, fresh potato, you can use that. Here are a few examples to give you some ideas of Mr. Ness off there. 
examples to give you some ideas. You can get creative as you like. We would love to see some photos of your work. Um, you can use paint if you have some. You can use some googly eyes or just coloured card. Or you could just use a felt tip pen to decorate um, and create your own favourite book character from a potato so it doesn't have to be hard you don't have to go out to buy special things you might just find things within the home that you want to excuse me uh, to use okay task number three is looking at um reading in different places and it says are you sh are you a share a story reading star so it might be that you read your story with your favorite teddy or read a nursery rhyme or you might read in the garden if the weather's nice hopefully or read your story to a pet you can make it as crazy as wacky as you like and when you've done all those challenges and you can do this online as well um, I think there is a link um, at the bottom you should have the sheet in your pack so you can go online and do those you can click those off and tick off the things that you do so it's have there's 12 different things that you could try okay and what i really like to see is some photos of you doing your learning as we can't see what's happening within your homes so it'd be nice if you can send that in for us um as we'd like to pop them on to the blog as well it'd be nice to share um with your friends that are at school too okay so there's three different activities you don't have to do them all in one go so you can have a go so we won't have any other literacy learning and you will not have any maths or curriculum learning to do um for today so you can look at doing those three tasks very carefully and take your time especially task number two one and two okay so designing your book favorite book character and writing your poem okay so that they're the things that I really am looking to seeing and then for you to have a go at reading in different places okay so that's all from me hope you have a fun filled day um, enjoying reading you could even read your story a favorite storybook to your grown-up to a friend to your brothers or sisters or whoever lives in your home you can read to them um, so that's it from me so have fun and I shall speak to you tomorrow. Bye.